So this is the entrance. Coat nice. closet was on your right. Okay. Do you want me to point out the features or no? Yeah. Yes? You do the, okay, the, I'll do the, the voiceover. Line. Fair enough. Uh, this is the Sub-Zero refrigerator. It has mm -hmm. two freezer drawers on the bottom. Um, it's integrated with the cabinetry. This is white lacquer on top. We have a wine refrigerator, Bosch dishwasher. It's fully integrated with the cabinetry. It's stainless steel on the inside to maximize space. They gave a cutout in the sink. This shows the attention of detail they paid to the apartment. Mm. They, they, they thought of everything. It was a well thought out building. Um, the Bosch oven, the four burner cooktop. The ceiling height in the apartment is nine and a half feet high. The main exposure is south and east. Okay. Okay. This room here is 26 by 13. And you have an entrance to the 312 square foot balcony from the living room and from the second bedroom. You'd like to go outside? Yeah. Okay. You have four exposures from here, north, south, east, and west, when you're, when you're outside. Right now you're facing north. On 60th Street, there are three brand new buildings. You have uh, the Hudson, which is a condominium, the first condo to go up. Mm -hmm. With that, the Sasanta luxury rental building. You can't see it, but to, to the right of that is the Adagio, which is a, uh, a condo loft building. Okay. All built in the last four years. Okay. And then we are uh, between the 10th Avenue and... We're between uh, Amsterdam and West End. Oh, okay. And south, we're the 10th and 11th. Okay. So this is the skyline of Midtown Manhattan. You see the top of the Empire State Building, the New York Times Building, Worldwide Plaza. This is the expansion of John Jay College. They have a planted roof garden right in front of us. It's all brand new. To the right, you have the Hudson River. That smokestack is a, it is a landmark building, mm -hmm. so the view over there will not change. Just south of that, you have two brand new luxury buildings that are being built now. To the north of that is the final phase of development on Riverside Boulevard, River, River Park South, and you have one Riverside Park. Okay. That's good. So now we are entering back to the living room. So that we saw this before. So now they rent it out for a tenant, but I have to find out what uh, what is the rent they're paying. So the reason the tenants purchased a three-bedroom in this building. That's right? correct. The last three transactions were purchased by people who were renting and bought in the building. So they like it here. Everyone loves it here. So this is the second bedroom. Yep. Uh, with a double closet. Double closet. And you have access to the terrace or the balcony from this bedroom. Okay, so there's two entrances to the balcony. To fix the light here, it's kind of uh, dark. But it, this is a full bath. From where you're standing, you probably it's, it's, there's another light that go no, on here. Good enough. There's good a enough. washer and dryer on the corridor. This is the master bedroom suite. You want to start with the master bathroom, it's a five fixture bathroom. The floor is a limestone. You have a double sink, a soaking tub, and a, and a, it's a separate stall shower with a rain head. Okay. This bathroom happened to have a lot of storage. The medicine cabinet is all storage, and the vanity below is all storage. Okay. Which is really nice. That's something that the okay. residents appreciate in the building. Large walk in closet. They take full advantage of the nine and a half foot ceilings. Okay, good. Okay, here you have a linen closet. So basically, they have a lot of storage. A lot of storage. Yeah, the bedroom just has a king size bed. And there's plenty of room for end tables and, and more furniture if you wanted it. Okay, great. 